with schools resuming classes tomorrow. Families who left the city for a short vacation returned in droves this afternoon. Many who spent Lunar New Year in western Guangdong or Macau returned through the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. This woman, who had visited Tai Shan, said she had to come back as it was the last day of her child's school break. Another woman was pleased with the border clearance arrangements, saying it was smooth even with the large crowds. The high-speed rail station at West Kowloon is also bustling with passengers. The Immigration Department recorded more than 1.4 million inbound visitors during the first eight days of Lunar New Year. That was in line with levels in 2018, before the city was impacted by social unrest and COVID. Over 87 percent, or 1.26 million, of the visitors were from the mainland. Around 157,000 entered the SAR each day, 15 percent more than last year's National Day Golden Week. Most arrived through the express rail link, followed by the Law Wu border checkpoint. In a statement, Tourism Minister Kevin Yuan said business for the catering and retail sectors flourished over the past week. He pledged to organize more major events to elevate the experience for tourists, citing the success of the Lunar New Year parade in Simsa Chur and the fireworks in Victoria Harbor. Rebuking reports that many mainland visitors opted for day trips so as to skimp on accommodation. Yuan said the overall hotel occupancy rate exceeded 80 percent for the eight-day holiday, reaching 90 percent in the first few days. The Ngong Peng 360 cable car also reported a 25 percent surge in patronage compared to last year. Maisie Mock, Cable News. A record 474 million domestic trips were recorded on the mainland during the Lunar New Year holidays. That was a 34.3% jump from the same period last year, commonly known in China as Spring Festival. Even compared to pre-pandemic levels in 2019, the number of trips had grown by 19%. Members of the public also dug deeper into their pockets. The holidaymakers forked out 633 billion yuan, 47 percent more than last year. Most travelers opted for the train, with 99 million train trips recorded, while another 18 million air trips were made, 